Alright, here it is. This is going to be my unboxing and review of my Moto X. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this thing. I have not played with it at all, so we're going to have kind of first impressions and all that kind of stuff. So, first of all, you can see this is the Verizon 4G LTE version, um, but it is the developer version of the Moto X. Um, definitely uh, wanted to get that. Just makes it so much easier when you're doing anything to your device to get the developer edition. So I got this thing on that deal we had for Cyber Monday from Motorola. Really cool, $150 off the device, off contract. Uh, definitely uh, very, very slick. So let's go ahead and uh, open this sucker up. First of all, you can see it's got this nice tight sleeve over the thing. And then um, we'll open it up here. Du -du -du -du. You know, have you ever seen the Verizon commercial? Du -du -du -du. Oh, can I keep opening it? It's pretty cool. It's actually got a hinge on it that uh, allows this to flop right open like that. There you go, there is the uh, Moto X, and uh, pretty cool. We'll go ahead and set this down for right now. Let's see what we got here. This is kind of like some kind of packaging right there. Next we have our instructions, you know, the standard guides and how to start up safety warranty kind of good stuff right there. And then we've got our power cable, USB to micro USB. Next we have a power brick. Oh, and that's, ah, I like that, that's cool. Don't see that too often. Actually has two USB slots on it, so you can actually charge two devices off of it. That's nice, I like that a lot. I have a lot of devices, so that really comes in handy. And then down here, let's see what we got down here. I'm not really sure what this is. Open it up nice and slow lock. Okay, there you go, that is the SIM removal tool to remove the SIM out of your uh, device. I actually don't even have one of these, surprisingly, with the many devices as I do have. Um, so I'm going to hold on to that for sure. Um, I think that is it out of the package. Yep. I don't think anything else comes out. It's all pretty solid in there. So pretty slick. Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and check out this device. I'm, like I said, pretty excited about uh, looking at this thing. So here we go. Here's the back side of it. Um, it looks like it has like some kind of like kind of roughness on it but it doesn't. It's actually very, very smooth, but it's got that, that look on it. Right there you can see Verizon and then it says Developer Edition. So you can unlock the bootloader on this thing. There's your little Motorola logo, LED and uh, camera, obviously. You know, this thing actually, this, it kind of feels nice. I, I, I like that. It's, it's pretty slick. There's your front uh, screen and everything. It does look like it has a screen protector on it. Um, I think I'm going to actually go ahead and pull that off. As much as I like having screen protectors on my devices, I think it's just a good thing to do. So we're going to go ahead and power this thing up for the first time. This is the first time I've actually got my hands on this device, um, which is pretty slick. So you can see right here on the side, you got your power and your volume up and down right there on the side. There's your uh, headphone jack, kind of center. It's a little unusual, I think, for most headphone jacks. Normally they're off to the side. Um, here's your SIM card on this side and your SIM removal tool over there and then there is your micro USB charging port on the bottom so let's go ahead and power this thing on not really sure um, how much battery this thing's got, I just pulled it out of the box as you guys saw so there you go, there is the standard boot animation comes with this thing yeah, kinda cool, I mean, it's alright, I mean it's different, something I haven't seen before besides just in videos of this device there you go, Verizon, blah, who cares about that stuff. Uh, go ahead, device is preparing uh, to start up. So obviously it's finishing up something here. There we go, so we're on the start screen. Just first of all, I mean the screen looks really clean and like crisp looking. I really like the look of the screen, it looks very nice. Um, so I'll just go ahead and say continue. This phone has been, it hasn't been activated yet, so I have to continue. I'm just going to kind of jump through everything. And go ahead and then see what we got. This is checking for contacts. We're not going to do that. I'm even going to skip through my Google account for right now. Just so I can show you guys the device. Say so yeah, I'm done. And there you go. There is the first boot up right there. Um, pretty slick. There's the standard Moto X wallpaper. 
seeing slides on my table here quite a bit. Um, a little slippery actually. And yeah, a couple of apps on there, some Google applications, some good old stuff on there. Now, I just saw this, so this is a little interesting. Right here it says, touchless controls, get started using your hands-free voice system. And it talks about it, just ask Google for directions without even touching your phone, blah, 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 blah. It gives you an example. It says next, say okay Google, and call Lisa at home. It talks about just different commands. You can give your Moto X, and then I'm gonna say yes, I'm in, because I think that feature looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, so this is talks about training your device to recognize you. Um, so I'm going to do this really quick. I'm going to come back to it and we'll keep showing you this device once I get this thing set up. So I went ahead and logged into my uh, Wi-Fi and my Gmail and things like that so I can continue showing you guys some stuff. But I just got to show you this and this is just one of the beauties of Motorola slash Google devices and stuff like that. Specifically Google devices. You're getting a system update right off the get go when you turn this thing on and you're already on Jelly Bean so I don't know what the system update is going to bring me to. I'm not sure if it's in a KitKat update or what the deal is but um, let's go ahead and check really quick. I'm going to show you before. It's hard, this phone slides a lot. Right here we're on Android 4.2.2 and um, not sure what we're going to get updated to so I'm going to see when this thing finishes download. I got 21% downloaded right now. Um, this is what it comes with when I got the device but went ahead and set up the Google Now software, which is really, really cool. Um, and getting that stuff set up. And it looks like you can actually even adjust what you command to start the mic is. Google Now is the, or OK Google Now is the standard recording you can use to activate it, but there's others. And what's neat about it is, I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen this if you've seen this device, is you can do it from the screen off state. Your phone can just be sitting there and you can give it the voice command. So let me see if I can represent and show you what I mean by that. Okay, Google now. And help me. So it actually says right there that you can say help me. And what's cool about that is then it gives you ideas about things you can ask it to do for you. So get directions, send a message, set a reminder, ask a question, schedule a meeting, music, alarms. I mean, it just gives you a whole list of things that you can use the software to do, which is really cool. So, okay Google now, what's the weather like today? You can see it's just very easy to do hands-free and is really Today's sweet. Today's forecast for Park Forest is minus five degrees with snow. Oh yeah, it's that cold. Yeah, not fun. So, anyway, um, very, very slick. I'm gonna show you guys, go ahead and show you guys the app drawer really quick, show you what this thing comes with. It does look pretty much like stock Android, except for, obviously, since it's Verizon, you got the Verizon junk in there. Bloatware we'll have to remove once we get uh, hacking on this device. Yeah, have easy nav, all that junk. So, don't worry, we'll definitely be getting that off there very, very soon, I'm sure. And I will have videos on all this as well. You guys know my coverage. Get the device, do the review, hack, root, custom ROM recovery, all the yummies. Good stuff on this device. It's going to be a lot of fun with the uh, features that this thing has are very, very cool. So obviously one of the features I'd like to show you guys is the camera because it is neat. And how you activate it is obviously one of the features that makes the Moto X really, really cool. So let me just show you that. And it's pretty much just a handshake. Uh, it's pretty neat. So nothing's on. And the camera turns on. And I'll take a quick picture here of my... Motorola box, and there it is, gallery always, some little quick settings, and there you go, you can see my Motorola box I just took a picture of, and that's how easy it is to launch the camera, it's pretty neat, there you go, just a quick little couple shakes and, 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 you're, and you're good to go, so very neat uh, camera for sure, uh, very very cool feature. Another one of the cool features on the Moto X is the notification or peak feature and you can actually see it heart beating right there and that is your notification turning on and off. It just brings on those couple pixels, shows you the time and the notification and if you push your finger on it, it tells you what the notification is and you can read it really quick or look at it. 
you can swipe down to unlock or swipe up and it'll open up that exact uh, email. That's what I got right there. Um, or you can let it go and it'll just kind of, kind of heartbeat at you. Um, just a super, super cool um, notification. But uh, I really like this peak feature. Very, very, very cool. I'm totally digging that for sure. So really quick, I'm going to go through our uh, notifications on this thing. So our settings, I should say, is what I'm trying to say here. Go into settings. And I'm just going to go through it. So you can see the top up here, this is pretty standard for Android. But the stuff that's going to be unique for this device is this active controls or active notifications. And just all the settings you can go through here for sleep at night and motor connect, um, manage notification types. All that kind of stuff and that's where you're going to go in and do your settings here's touchless controls which has to do with your microphone and how it functions and different stuff you can do for it confirm before call when you're telling it to call somebody um, call while locked a whole bunch of things that um, you can go ahead and go through and adjust to get it tweaked exactly how you like your touchless controls or your active notifications the rest of this like i said is pretty consistent with um Android in general with Jelly Bean. Motorola device ID, I'm not really sure what that is. Motorola Connect, Moto Care Tips, some other things you can set up. I don't have those set up right now. Accessibility and then obviously about phone. Um, and then obviously if you guys don't know how to do this, if you want to turn on your developer options, you just go ahead and tap on build number about seven, ten times. There you go. And you will have developer options now listed and you can turn on USB debugging and all your developer options stuff if you want. And that would be true on the developer version or just the stock version. Either way, that's how you do it. Um, there you go. That's going to be uh, pretty much my review of the Moto X. Um, very, very cool device. Like I said, stay tuned, guys, because there's going to be lots of videos on this thing. I'm going to have full coverage of it, like always, uh, on my YouTube channel, RootJunkie.com, and Facebook, Twitter, everywhere I go, all that good stuff, Google+. Plus. So, hope you guys like this video. As always, Root Junkie out. Software is almost ready to go. We're going to update this, baby. Yeah.